Okay, and this is the second video in the series. I actually ran it back against uh, Fibby Z, uh, against his bison once more, and we'll see how I fared this time. And this time he switches to the, the bison costume I prefer, the brown second all on it. Me, sticking with my purple DJ. See how I fare this time. Right. So as you can see, I'm just throwing air slashers and he's neutral jumping them. Going for the trade. About even there, so it's an alright trade. Just kind of gets the, the match sort of going there. Is getting the pressure with the lights, tagging me with a heavy kick. I get the anti air show back. Another one, he's jumping on me, he's not jumping me at the right angle because Bison can get the angle where I'll just either stuff it or he'll hit me. So I'm just coming in, jumping in, keeping the knee pressure going. He's just reversal scissor on me. Just trying to get off here. There's that knee beating my anti air. Because just because his hitbox gets so small. I'm not able to just tag any body part, even for a trade. He's just hitting DJ's head and that's not a heart box in this one. Oh, then we'll throw out some pokes. Never a good idea against Bison. Bison's got some of the best pokes in the game. As you can see, grab, walk up, jab. Or jab, walk up, grab, whichever one it is. Fared a little bit better there. Took a round off him. There we go, another air slasher, he's coming in with the devil's reverse. Here to here. There we go. Again, I don't know why I'm going for the anti air, I know it's not going to work, I need to leave it later. If I leave it too late, of course, you'll land and block. So yeah, if you want to beat my DJ, just jump in just jump in from close. I ain't got no chance. There we go, smooth jazz signed in there, shows the smooth jazz. Again, going for the grab. Heavy punching that probably could have come up with a better punish than that. Yep. Same problem bison is against Gale when you try and so the kick through one of these sonic booms and he's caught me throwing a projectile. Yeah the problem with Gale Sonic Booms and Air Slasher against the X Scissor is if we do it close enough, you're gonna hit us and then we're gonna hit you. You're gonna do more damage obviously, but it's so annoying when you're playing against a Gale as bison and you're just getting tagged by all these hits. Let's see, final round, second game. He's, um, if you want to show it, I get the anti air heavy punch. It's a bit risky, trades with quite a lot of stuff, but man, for one charge, that's the only reliable anti air I've really got. Except for maybe standing heavy kick at close range, I should probably try that in the cross ups. Can't hurt to try, eh? Especially with Bison, because his hitbox seems to come in. Deep on the cross up. Oh, I stuffed the medium kick. Oh, managed to catch the EX head stomp or on reverse reverse with the throw. Get in range. I think I managed to tag a heavy there. I need to keep note of that. Heavy punch tags heavy kick for Bison. Obviously, I'll have to be timed pretty well, but you never know, eh? Here we go, air to air, he's hit me with air to air heavies, I probably could have done my heavy a bit sooner. Might have taken it. They go for the knee. That bazooka knee pressure is quite good. You're landing quite safe. you just got to be wary of grabs, because if you're holding down you can't take grabs. And I just slightly went off centre there. Right, well that's the second game, as you can see I fared a little bit better. But, once again, please, comments, let me know what I'm doing wrong, let me know what I'm doing right. This is what this series is all about. You help me, and who knows, I'll watch your videos and help you. Right.